Here's a fun fact, so YouTube categorizes me as a gaming channel, but I actually have more food videos than I do gaming videos, which means naturally I should be able to pass the world's easiest food quiz. So let's see how we do. Alright, so question number one, what does BLT stand for? Bacon, lettuce, tomato. I'm not a huge fan of BLTs, and the reason being is whenever I eat them, the bacon always falls off the side, and it feels like I'm just having a lettuce and tomato sandwich. I actually saw this life hack video, don't ask why I was watching, and it showed that the best way to do it is to like overlap the bacon, you sort of like weave it so it stays onto the sandwich better. Could be worth it, just too much effort though. Moving on, question number two. In which country was the hamburger invented? So the hamburger was invented in Germany, and I think it was in a place called Hamburg, Germany. I could be wrong on that, but it was definitely Germany. Final answer, lock it in. The United States. That can't be right. Let me Google this real quick. So apparently there's some guy in Wisconsin that's claiming he was the first person to create a hamburger, which can't be true. Germany was around much earlier than the United States, so I think it's fairer to say that somebody probably put a piece of meat between two pieces of bread in Germany before the United States. So based on my research, I'm gonna do something rare here, and I'm gonna override what their answer is and say that I am correct. It was made in Hamburg, Germany. I even got the city, two for two. Next up, what is the world's costliest spice by weight? I don't know. All right, what are some spices? We have salt, pepper, oregano. None of these seem expensive. Coriander sounds expensive. Anise. I like anise. Doesn't anise sound like a really expensive spice? Let's lock in anise. Final answer. I don't even know what it tastes like. Saffron. Oh yeah, that does kind of sound more expensive than anise. All right, fine. Two for three. All right, question four. What is the most stolen food in the world? Ooh, that's a good question. So my gut is telling me bread, because why wouldn't it be? I know bread, rice, like that sort of grain thing is the most consumed food in the world, so why wouldn't it be the most stolen? I guess it could be rice. But you always see these thieves just taking like loaves of bread from people, right? What are some other foods it could be? I guess it could be like cheese tea it could be tea i think tea actually might be more popular than bread but i don't know who's stealing tea leaves i'm gonna stick with bread because bread is definitely the most global food cheese oh that was my second answer run it back complete the sentence the world's oldest person said the secret to a long life is sleep and what Okay, so the world's oldest person was this woman named like Claudia from France. I think she lived to like 123. So what do they eat in France that could be the secret to a long life? Wine, cigarettes, and escargot. I think that's the secret. No, I'm just kidding. It could be wine though. I could see it being wine. You know what they say, a glass of wine a day keeps the cold away. It's probably gonna be a food though, in which case maybe cheese is the answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and say cheese because I didn't say it on the previous one when I should have. So cheese. That's the secret to life. Sushi? Why are the French people eating sushi? Don't you guys hate other cultures? No, I'm just kidding. Not really. What is the only fruit with the seeds on the outside? All right, well, let's go through a couple. So we have apples, no. Bananas, no. Oranges, no. Kiwis, maybe? No. Strawberries? Strawberries? Yes. Strawberries, I think those are seeds. Those little ridges on them. Because I think when a strawberry sneezes or pollinates, those are the seeds that then get planted around it. So I'm going to say strawberry. All right, 50% again. In which country and what year was the fast food concept initiated? Okay, well, I certainly don't know the year. If I was going to take a guess on the country, I'd probably say the United States because most fast food joints originate in the US and then founded what? Probably like 100 years ago or so. I could see this being in like the 1930s, 1940s. I know McDonald's was kind of early. I think that was like the 40s. Let's go 1931. Okay, so it was White Castle, shout out. They get no respect out here in 1921 in the United States. What are the top two most popular spices in the world? Okay, so another spice question. It's gotta be salt and pepper. Do they consider salt to be a spice? It's gotta be. All right, I don't know. I'm locking in salt and pepper, final answer. Pepper and mustard, really? Or for eight, what is the name of the froth that forms atop freshly made espresso? So I don't drink coffee and I have no idea. If I had to guess, I would say foam. Doesn't that seem right? Isn't anything that just forms atop something considered foam? Like beer foam, soap foam, espresso foam? Foam. Crema. Ah, si, certo, certo. Italiano, okay, okay. Next up. 
What expensive shellfish was once seen as a peasant food? All right, I do know this because every time I eat it, I always mention this fact, and I'm sure that everybody I eat with gets annoyed that I mention it, but it's pretty cool. A lobster. Yep, lobster. Cool. So now we're back at five for 10. Sir strumming is a Swedish delicacy, but why is it illegal to eat in public? So interestingly, I actually have some experience with sir strumming because a YouTuber, who I shall not name, sent me sir strumming directly from Sweden, and I was told not to smell it because apparently it smells disgusting. So if I were to guess, I would say it's illegal because it smells so bad. In which case, shouldn't it be illegal to manufacture? Because where else are you going to eat it? In the privacy of your home? But it's got to be the smell. What do you know? The smell. Six for 11. What is the most popular pizza topping in America? So it's either going to be plainer pepperoni. I guess it could be sausage and peppers, but I think it's got to be plainer pepperoni. I think it's got to be pepperoni and I'm locking it in. So now I'm seven for 12, so all is good. Where were French fries invented? This is great timing because I just made a short, it may or may not be out by the time you see this video, and I know that French fries came from Belgium. I think they're just called frites in Belgium. Beautiful. Eight for 13. What language does the word ketchup come from? That's gotta be an English word, right? I could see it being something weird, like some West African language. Not to say West Africa is weird, they're just abnormal because they're not normally spoken as much as other languages. You get it. Um, but I'm gonna stick with English. It just feels like a very blah, like a blah word. And I feel like English is very blah. Malay, so apparently ketchup is from Malaysia, or at least its namesake is. Eight for 14. How many herbs and spices, is it herbs or herbs, are in Colonel Harlan Sanders' original KFC recipe? Okay, so my mind is blown that Colonel Sanders' first name is Harland. I don't think I've ever been told that ever. I don't know why, but nine is speaking to me. 11, wow, they really spiced that up. So now we're eight for 15, slipping a little bit. What sauce can be made from the pictured ingredients? So what do we have here? Egg, butter, and lemon? I think that's hollandaise sauce. I'll lock it in, sure, why not? Nine for 16. What is the name of this spice commonly used in Asian cuisine that creates a tingly, numbing sensation in the mouth? Is that anise? I know I was talking about it earlier, but I don't know what it looks like, but I feel like that's it. So it was Sichuan peppercorn, which I've never heard of in my entire life. Nine for 17. This Asian fruit has the nickname King of Fruits and is known for its distinctive smell. That is a durian. And I know that because in Super Mario Sunshine, those are the fruits that you kick around and they're always impossible to get into those little baskets that the Piantas have. They're really hard to move around. And I remember looking them up once because I'm like, this is not a fruit, this is dumb. And in fact it was, and I was just not cultured. And then I cultured myself and I actually went to Asia and I ate a durian and it was pretty good. Okay, so I lied about the last part. I don't know what it tastes like, nor do I know what it smells like, but I think I'm right. There you go. 10 for 18, what is the most obese country? Ugh, I did a video on this so long ago. It was one of the Pacific Islands. I don't think it was Samoa though. It might've been something like Marshall Islands maybe. Yeah, let's try Marshall Islands. Nauru. Ugh, okay. I feel like I could've maybe got that if I thought a little bit harder, but whatever, fine. That's okay. 10 for 19. Question 20, what is the only vitamin not found in an egg? Oh, that's a good question. I thought eggs had a little bit of every vitamin. What's the sunshine one? That's D. And eggs never see the sun because they're either inside a chicken's uterus or in an egg. So I don't think they ever get vitamin D. So that's my final answer. That's probably so wrong. Vitamin C. So now we are 10 for 20 and we are officially even. What is the name of this grilled cornmeal cake served in Latin American cuisine? I don't know. The only word that's popping in my head right now is flauta, F-L-A-U-T-A. -A. And I know that's like a Mexican burrito thingy, so it's definitely not that. If I had to lock in a guess, I would say cornflakes. Arepa. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. In medical emergencies, coconut water can also be used as what? I mean, coconut water is just flavored water. So what can water double as? Maybe if you're drowning, it's something you could put into your nose and it like clears out water because it's like an oil and water effect where it just doesn't mix or something. I don't know. Blood plasma, really? All right, 10 for 22, we're slipping pretty badly here. Question 23, which fast food chain has the most locations in the world? Okay, 
Used to be Subway, now it's McDonald's. I think Subway has something like 30,000 locations in like 130 countries, but McDonald's, I think as of like last year or two years ago, became number one. Now they have like an extra 2,000 stores. What do you know? McDonald's. Which US state is the only state to grow coffee beans? I didn't know the United States grew coffee beans. Where would we be able to do that? Oh, Hawaii. That's the only answer that makes sense. It has to be Hawaii. Ooh. I hit my finger. We run that back? All right, I'll survive. All right, so we're back to 12 for 24. This is going back and forth. Name this vegetable. Simple question, yet it stumped me. That's oregano? No, I don't know. All right, just take me out of my misery. A fennel. I've never heard of that in my life. I wasn't going to get that. Let's be real. An affogato is an Italian dessert of coffee and what ingredient? As I mentioned before, I am not a coffee drinker, but I am Italian, or at least a little bit, and I know that an affogato has vanilla ice cream with coffee. So they just said ice cream. I think it has to be vanilla. I don't think I've ever seen a version of affogato that includes like chocolate ice cream. Nonetheless, we'll take it. 13 for 26. Really coming down to the wire. I feel like every video thus far has always come down to one of the last few questions, but it really isn't staged. This is just me not being able to get above 50%. I wish I was lying. What is the culinary term for according to the menu? Off the rip, I think it's a la carte. Because if you want to order something that's not prefix and you want to get it off the menu, you'd say a la carte. But I thought that was off the menu, not according to the menu. So maybe it's just my misinterpretation. I thought it meant on the menu, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is according to the menu. So let's go a la carte. I feel pretty good about this. Beautiful. What is the only edible food that never goes bad? I don't know if this is true, but I heard that honey takes something like 3,000 years to expire, or even then it's just the sell-by date for the plastic that it comes in. So I think the answer is honey. I don't know the actual reason, like the science behind it, but if I were a betting man, I'd say that honey is the only edible food that can't go bad. Woo, we're rolling now. So that's 15 for 28. Where was the chocolate chip cookie invented? Okay. So I think it's going to be either England, France, or the United States. I'm going to go with England, and that's my final answer. Uh -huh. Massachusetts, United States. And now the final question, I guess I could get 16 for 30 if I get this right. But even so, I mean, it's a failure of a quiz. What else is new? What is the most common food allergen in the world? Penicillin. That's not a food. Peanuts. Nuts. It's got to be nuts. If I don't get this right, then I will go nuts because this question seems way too easy. Before I lock it in, I used to be allergic to peanut butter and then I grew out of it because I ate peanut butter. So if you're allergic to something, eat it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I did it, but don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. All right, nut final answer. Let's go 16 for 30. So not too much to celebrate except you guys. You're awesome. If you want to see more videos, click here and here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.